Hi, I'm going to show you an abandoned house in this uh, tea farming village. Several abandoned homes here. This one down here behind the trees, that's abandoned. As is this one down here. It's a farm structure there. This village is nearly abandoned. Still some green tea farming going on right down there. That's green tea. But here it is. This is one of the first abandoned houses that I ever encountered up here. Community bulletin board. These bulletins are provided by the city and county. But, uh, oh, there's a truck up there. So there's, there is some activity here. There's some life here. But there's the garage for this house. And here it is. It's one of the first houses, like I said. One of the first houses I ever found. Uh, and largely because it was just right there on the road. First time I came up here. First time I came up here was actually in snow. Of all things, I remember. Oh, look, there's a light fixture on that pole. One of those old, old, uh, see that? The old metal fixture there. Probably has an incandescent bulb in there. Uh, and there's the farmer over there. Checking me out. What am I up to? <laughs> oh, he's going down. Ah, he's going down. Taking a little, uh, a little road down here that goes down to the fields. He's going over down there. There he is. To, to, just as in, in, in my country, America, farmers typically drive nice trucks. Uh, farmers here drive those little tiny white trucks. Sometimes they'll be silver. Anyway, here's that house. Got a little thing there to keep anybody from bumping into it. Another carport there. The, I won't get too close because eyes are upon me, but there's the entrance right there. It is missing one bit of glass. It's really rare to see anybody break glass, though. I've just fallen off. There's a hornet right there. See that? The hornet flying around. That's Ashinaga. The long-legged homer hornet. Very painful sting. Right there. Coming right over here checking me out. Right up close to me. There it goes. Okay. These shutters here all fit into a recess over there. And when this was occupied in the summer, these would have all been open. The whole house would have been open to the... Uh, Beautiful view out here, mountains. I imagine that would be particularly nice in the, uh, in the, in the evening, in the rainfall, is all this open. Yeah, pleasant. All those shutters slide in over there. They'll be closed every evening and opened every morning. Front door. You see the electrical unit is there is missing. Or a light over the door. Hmm. Oh, sake bottles underneath. My father-in-law does the same thing. Sucks, sucks his old sake bottles down below. Look at poles sticking out there. I wonder why. Long poles. Look at that. There's long poles. And the rafters there. See that? I wonder, I've never seen that. I wonder what those are for. This one has a cover on the end. A lot of old cans. It's a trail that leads up. That's a nice shot. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Take a quick photo. There you go, photo. Hmm. What are these? Uh, Tom cuts, little cuts, something like that. Up there in the tree. A little shot up there. There you go. One of the more pleasant uh, little abandoned houses. And there's another one, as I said, right there. So you can see the village once had a little trail that led to the stairway down. Whoever lived there could come up and down. But that's all. I don't go down there anymore. I don't go down there anymore. home. Okay, everybody. Thanks for uh, dropping by to join me for another experience. Hope you have a great day. Good luck.